Good morning, John here. Um, got the quest questions of, of why I chose the equipment that I chose. Um, and like I said before, I'm, I'm totally new to this. Um, but I, I researched, did a lot of, oh man, months and months and months of looking at all the different options. And, and there are a lot of options. There's, there's a lot of portable um, units and makers out there. Um, and, you know, there's, there's all different sizes. Um, in fact, I, I'm pretty sure I see where they're making this unit now in an AC 500. I don't know if it's out yet, uh, but that looks pretty cool. Um, but uh, my main, I think what you have to do is you have to figure out how you're gonna use it, you know, and what, what your main um, goal is to accomplish with the unit. And originally my goal was to get two units and then run the split phase to be able to plug in to where my Kubota diesel plugs in. But I've pretty much um, thrown that, that option out um, because I would have to change this transfer switch in the basement that um, and I don't want to do that. I, I, from what I've read and and I understand that this doesn't work with that transfer switch. So I've I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do that. I'm, my goal now is to just to get the other two batteries for this to have all the capacity that I can. Because my main goal uh, now is to be able to run the house minus the well at night um, if the power's out and I don't want to run the generator all night I want to be able to run my boiler and um, you know all, all the appliances that need to run all night freezers and refrigerators but um, I haven't got the boiler um, hooked up yet um, because that's wired solid and it's running through the panel so I've got to figure out how I'm going to do that but I, I, I can run everything else I can run I'm run you know I can run all both refrigerators um, both refreezers and both chest freezers and I, like right now I'm running those things all day when and into the night I um, with when the sun's out uh, but I, so I haven't got the boiler um, connection if I need it figured out yet. I, I'm going to have an electrician help me um, be able to connect that to this. Um, but that's my goal now. Um, I just had to, by not doing the split phase, I eliminated my ability to pump water from our well. Um, so if I need to pump water from the well, obviously I have to start the, the, the Kubota. And then also if the sun's out, or not out, when the power's out, I can charge this from that during the day when this is running and then be able to run my house at night uh, with the Blue Eddy. And then the other, the other goal was to have something that was very portable if I need to go, um, you know, and power a fifth wheel or a, you know, a motor home or, um, I, I just wanted something that was portable. I didn't want anything that was screwed to the wall, you know, fixed, um, or in a rack system. Um, and those systems are really nice. I mean, you know, that, that, you know, I've seen even where somebody took the rack system and mounted it to a uh, hand truck. I thought that was pretty clever. But for me, this was the choice I made. You know, so far I, I've been happy with that choice. Um, I'm sure there was probably some choices that maybe I missed that, uh, that could have been just as good or maybe even better. But like I say, I'm new at it. So it's kind of a learning 
learning experience. So far, I've been pretty happy with, with this choice. Um, but I hope that helps answer the questions of, of why I went with this. And oh, by the way, I'm still running the maximum solar on this. I'm running, I've got, uh, I've got the, uh, the portable. I'm sure some of you watched those videos, but if you haven't, I just made um, real simple um, wooden um, mobile racks until I figure out where I want to mount my permanent arrays. I've got two, well, it's 2,400 watts. There's there's 2,400 watt uh, panels on two movable racks, and those work really well right now. I'm 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 using those until I figure out where I want to put the permanent. They're on wheels, on casters, big casters, um, and I just move them around. Right now they're facing east, and then uh, midday I move them facing south, and then late in the afternoon I, I face them west. And that's been working really well. So, okay, hope that helps. You all have a good one, and God bless.